Okay, we're gonna try the uh, big four. What on wet, what on damp, what on dry, and uh, dry on dry. So I'm just trying to uh, get the big elements here. The big shapes, kind of like that dry on dry going on in there. Same here. I'm going to have to make this uh, wetter uh, down here because I want to explore some uh, of the damp. Not too worried about the uh, surfer at this point because I think I'm going to just uh, use gouache on that. I'm already getting some uh, blooms here. I want to uh, add water. I don't know if this is going to be uh, dark enough, but we'll see. that water a little darker as uh, we go down here. to uh, do something with this uh, wave at the bottom. I don't want that to be uh, I want that to be darker. These a little thalo and a little and I also want to uh, change the uh, angle, that angle to this angle. I'm already starting to get uh, some bloom, but I uh, have to clean my brush really well. I want that bloom, I want to control that bloom. <laughs> Ha uh, as much as I uh, can. And this is not an exact science. This is uh, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. I'll let that bloom run a little bit. This way, I think. going to seek its uh, own level. The paper underneath is drier than what I did, the water that I just put on, so I'm going to get uh, these uh, blooms, these back runs, these cauliflowers, whatever you want to call it. I 
just want to make it look uh, like there's water moving. And this is just a wet on wet right here. It's not the bloom. That comes from In fact, I think I'm going to put uh, a little bit of that uh, dark along here and let it uh, drift down. So that is a watery, watery feel to that. And look how uh, that looks so dark when I was putting it on, so dark. I'm going to lift a little bit here just to see what happens. I'm trying to follow the shape of that uh, wave. It's kind of cool. Back to uh, my dark again. There we go. Again, I want to emphasize that diagonal coming through. While this paper is damp, I want to take advantage of that. For this uh, surfer, I'm going to put him somewhere in here uh, and uh, darken around him. Uh, in fact, here's where the uh, I think here's where the surfboard is going to go. So I'll just put that in that slash coming down. Lift a little bit more in here, going up. I just want to make this uh, look sea like. This is an abstract, a traditional abstract uh, watercolor. It's combining both. So anyway, I'm going to let that uh, dry out. And see what happens. Let the watercolor paint itself, right? Okay, I let this dry uh, completely, and uh, I like the start. Uh, I like that uh, I left some of this uh, dry on dry here and a little bit over here in these little spots uh, that happen. I'm going to try to do something that's uh, kind of nutty. I'm going to use some uh, white opaque, and I am going to uh, use my mister. And I'm going to spray just this area right here. So I'm going to get a paper towel and uh, put it over this part. And I'm just going to, uh, well, I'll leave that go. I'm just going to put it over that. I'm going to re wet this. And I suggest doing it with a mister uh, as opposed to uh, brush and water. 
And then I'm going to try to do the back run again using uh, white opaque on this uh, wet paper. So I'm going to have to mist it first. Pretty good. And so that's a nice uh, shiny uh, wet. Uh, and that's going to give me time to uh, try some of this. This is Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White. And I've got to let that soak in the paper a little bit. Uh, I'm going to take uh, a fairly large, well, medium, yeah, medium, round. And move this a little bit. It's uh, pretty wet. So I'm going to give it a couple minutes for it to soak in so I can achieve that wetter over not as wet effect. So I'll be right back. Okay, it's had uh, time to soak in a little bit. There's a puddle right here, but I'm not going to worry about it. So I mixed up a creamy uh, mixture uh, using uh, Dr. Martin's uh, Bleed Proof White. And uh, I'm just going to see what happens here on this uh, wet paper. So I'm, I'm going to uh, just let this uh, do its thing. And uh, spread out. I do want to make a, a specific uh, shape uh, for this. Because uh, I... Uh, I haven't done this before, as I said, uh, but it uh, promises to be interesting. It's already started to work. I'm going to release the uh, gravity now, and I'm going to uh, spatter a little bit into this uh, wet paint. I kind of like uh, what's going on there. I don't want to get too fussy. I don't want to touch the paper uh, too many times. Uh, I just want this to uh, kind of have a life of its own. Just as long as it looks uh, watery. I'm also going to use the uh, Mr. Slightly but. Just to soften out those edges, let that run a little bit. It's kind of interesting. I like the way this uh, edge kind of goes this way. Passed by accident. I'm going to let this uh, flow off. I'm going to let this flow off this way, so I'm using uh, gravity again. Maybe I'll cock it just a little bit. See what happens up in here. Anyway, uh, great fun. Just to try stuff. You can always go back and you can fix anything in watercolor, no matter what anybody tells you. Okay, I think this uh, actually dried out fairly well, and it was what I was planning on doing. And it gives you the operate, uh, option as a designer to uh, create. Another option would be to, I really have to find out where this surfboard is, because that's going to that's gonna affect my design. I'm a rule of thirds guy, so it's there, 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 or there. I've decided to put it in that quadrant up there. So I just cut out a little piece of paper, uh, and uh, there is the uh, surfboard. And uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. I did a little um, very rough drawing of shapes in there, denoting uh, the surfer. And uh, so now I'm going to... Uh, 
uh, paint that. And I'm just going to use uh, a thin, a thin um, wash, if you will. I'm just going to add a little white to it uh, because I do not want to make a total commitment yet. I just want to uh, see where this is going so I don't have to fewest number of strokes so I, I, I have a game plan here. Uh, so there's my uh, little test and uh, here's the uh, back of the board by his uh, back foot. I want this angled uh, down. Uh, I don't want it the same as that angle. Uh, he's uh, being death defying. <laughs> Big surf. Uh, so there is my, uh, there's my surfboard and then that is going to uh, go off uh, at the top. This is actually, you're looking at the bottom of his uh, surfboard. So, uh, and this uh, tail going off up in here, I'm going to do the same way I did that. Uh, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, burnt sienna, add that to the mix. And I still have a, a fairly opaque uh, wash, uh, but it's a uh, gouache. Uh, so there's a head, uh, there's his uh, body, and it's, uh, that's his torso, and it's leaning uh, pretty much uh, that way. I've got an arm coming down and then an arm coming uh, out. I've got this one is kind of uh, in the back here coming toward you a little bit. It stays in the shadow mostly. Uh, and then I've got uh, this leg uh, coming in and bending. And then I've got this other leg uh, which is really stretched out. So there's that and then there's that. Uh, so there's basically my uh, surfer, surfer dude. Uh, and that feels pretty good to me. It looks pretty much accurate. So that would be my uh, next uh, step. So now that I've got that in there, I can uh, put a little uh, dark right there. Head, hair. Uh, I'm going to make uh, some of this a little darker, keeping in that uh, warm burnt sienna kind of color. Uh, in fact, I'm going to lighten it up uh, considerably just to see, take a little bit of that uh, white paint, that slurry I kind of had mixed up. There's a, that's not a bad color I guess. So there's a little dot for that, a little bit more, a little bit lighter, I guess. Uh, this arm is uh, hot right here. Uh, finish off that uh, torso. I'm going to fix that little bump later. Uh, here's my uh, one leg, here's the other going down. And I'll cover that up with. Uh, some blue later on. Uh, he's got a little shadow in this area and this area is staying pretty much all in shadow. This doesn't have to be great. You can tell he's a surfer. Don't try to get into doing portraits in here. You can tell he's a surfer. And the biggest thing is the design, where does it go, and then the uh, drawing. You know, it, is it in uh, proportion? So now I'm just going to take a little bit of that uh, white and uh, it's going to go right through there. And again, that doesn't have to be exactly. That looks pretty much like a surfboard to me for now. I'll uh, highlight him later. But what I want to do is I want to take and turn the page this way. And uh, I want to use a little uh, water. And I am going to take and make this uh, spray. 
uh, it's going to go up that way, and it's going to go kind of down that way, and then it's going to rough out to there. And now I can take my white paint, and I can uh, just touch it, uh, and it's going to start making that wake uh, in his... Uh, I want it to uh, connect. I really want it to connect to this uh, wave up here. So, uh, there we go. A little more of uh, the paint. A little uh, dry brush. And uh, that looks fairly uh, interesting. I think I'm going to accentuate this a little bit more, connect that. Using uh, this uh, scrap piece of paper, figure out where your surfboard's going to be. So figure out where your design is going. That's the important part. Uh, anyway, I don't need that anymore. And uh, I'm to the point now where I think I, I don't have much left to do here. And I want to keep this uh, on the abstract side, the uh, stylized abstraction of a uh, surfer. So I'm going to take the tape off just to see what I have and get rid of the mess because I can't look at it any other way. So that's going to tell me what to do. Yes. I'm going to set that up a little bit, but the feel is there. The um, uh, kind of the emotion is there. The uh, power, the rhythm, all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to have to pop him a little bit more, but I kind of like him being there, but not being there. I've got to erase that pencil line, uh, which I'll, I can't do until it's absolutely dry. And then I can go back in and I can uh, touch up a couple of places. Uh, do what, uh, do whatever uh, you feel necessary when you're doing things like this. You put a few little highlights in here, uh, reflecting this wave coming down in a little bit off of him. Uh, but that's really, uh, it's that fast, it's that simple. So I have to be kind of careful with this now that uh, I'm almost done uh, playing with it because I want this to be uh, spontaneous so I'm just going to make a, uh, a stroke of some uh, lighter uh, paint reflecting that uh, wave and uh, so that's almost uh, actually it's almost done. And also uh, a little bit of this uh, kind of human uh, color that would uh, go through here, reflecting uh, him, and to try to uh, kind of marry those two a little bit. Again, I do not want to get uh, fussy with that. That took just a, a few seconds to do. And I'm going to make just a, one more little uh, hotter spot uh, right here uh, where the uh, wave actually try that again where the wave actually uh, starts to uh, reflect. Anyway, uh, I think that is uh, busy enough. So, I'm done with my little uh, experiment. Hope you had fun.